hello welcome to my channel welcome to pound star oracle i hope i can give you a message today and today this is for you aquarius and you're somebody that just pours out your love and emotions and all the good the bad and the ugly you pour it all out on the people into the world and you let them you, you show people that you can get through anything you, you you've been through a lot of things in your life and you can show others that yes you can get through these challenges you just got to have faith in the divine that's how it means okay and I love you, and if you're in a chorus, I love you and appreciate you, and I hope I can give you a good message today, or cross watcher, whoever's walk, coming here to, to look at a message about a chorus, I hope I can give you a good message about what's going on in their life, if you're not in a chorus, and, but here we go, and first I wanted to tell you about this, Aquarius, okay, so there's somebody that lives by the ocean, some person that lives by the ocean is doing voodoo on you, a divine feminine, you Aquarius women out here, and and you're fully aware of this, and and they can't get to you or ruin your reputation anymore. Uh, but we 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 just love to stick you with pins. That's what this woman wants to do. This woman or man that lives by the ocean, they just love to stick you with pins. And and you know you're somebody that uses your own discernment, and this will steer you away from evil people and places that's not meant for you. Also, you know, and spirit will lead you to the light, good side of life. So spirit is telling you that you was right about this person that lives by the ocean is doing voodoo on you, and, and it probably already come out in your readings before, like it has over over here on my channel. And and they was doing this uh, because you're a, you know you're a twin ray and you're a star seeds. Star seeds are here from ascended worlds. We're very rare, highly sensitive, em empathetic spirits. We share values and our virtues with others. We got spiritual goals and we heal others and humanity. And our soul mission forms how we behave, okay? And and, and we used our discernment about this person. And, and they, uh, they didn't like that. Maybe, uh, Aquarius, you had a new love that was coming in for you that would make you feel like a queen or king. They didn't like this. But, you know... 11 11 and this symbolizes two twin souls blending together in union pay attention to the signs of the universe and i love the universe because i flipped out every one of these cards flipped out and i'll show you so what it is is you're somebody who has a twin ray you got a twin ray and a twin flame since 11 11 shot out okay but this could just be that you're all souls is blending together and you use your discernment about this person that was doing voodoo on yet live by the ocean okay so hang on wait till you see this let me put this out and thank you to my loyal subscribers and my new subscriber today i appreciate you very much ma'am and i hope i can help you more and more so then this is what came out i'm trying to leave it in a line so i can read it to you the way that it came out okay Okay, so um, you're someone that is getting ready to move on to bigger and better things that will help a lots and lots of people. That don't mean you're moving out of a relationship or nothing. That could just mean that you, you're you teaching others about all these mountainous challenges that you can get through in a relationship together. Oh, three, 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 just pies, and that's manifesting. And we know how to manifest this into our world, and that's what we're doing over here. You know, because, you know... Uh, the, the we're, You know, the true magicians are our signs, and that's what I am. So Divine Masco wants to take you on a moonlight ride to the lake and go skinny dipping until the morning light. So so you and Divine Masco has went over a lot of challenges together and, and we are people we don't cry over people that was meant to make us grow. We will not accept them anymore either and that's why this person's mad. That's doing voodoo on you. And and we and we're not taking people for granted that's been there for us through ups and downs of our life. We're, yeah, we we don't take young people for granted. We know how to set boundaries with people, okay? And we know how to set boundaries with our partner. And you and your partner will be protected for all your good works. So you don't have nothing to worry about. You and your divine masculine don't have nothing to worry about. So don't don't worry, because <clears throat> you got enlightened to. Uh, to this certain situation and how you played a part in it if if any part you were if if you played any part in it you got you you got enlightened to it okay um because you you're an empath and you can feel everyone's energy and and, and, and you're somebody that remembers how you was treated by a narcissist in your life and and you remember the energy of all the lies and deceit from these people 
that you're meant to uh, not be around, and, and you know that. And, and you was telling these people to stop fucking saying things, and they kept on doing it. And but you can't stop and block what God granted for you and me. They can't. They can't stop it. And, and all these people know how to do is gossip and slander. This that's all they do every day. Blah blah gossip and slander, and they went and lied on the Bible. When they went to the judicial system and they lied on a divine being saying saying that you was crazy. No, you shouldn't have never did that if you did it. I'm telling you right now. But what they didn't know is that we know how to heal ourselves. We use our smart mind and body. We know how to we know how to heal our mind and body. <laughs> and and they're getting and and uh hey, can I grab you by a wussy? No. Somebody's getting ready to take sexual harassment, legal action on this sexual harassment and you know, I, I'm somebody who had to endure this, and my job's five by five. Yeah, and I change, and I don't work at them jobs anymore. I'm doing a job for myself, and if y'all like what I do, please help me in it and hit subscribe and like, and that's how you're all helping me, and I love you, and I thank you very much, Aquarius, because somebody might have put cameras in your house, too, this person, to watch you in secret, and, and, and you know, it's against the law, don't you stupid people? If you put cameras in my house, you're stupid, and it's against the law, and you're going to go to jail for it. And these, these people, uh, this person is still asleep. They're not awake to this situation like you are. They're sleepwalking, see? They're, they're, they're still asleep. They don't understand that cameras is in your house and you can take legal action over it right now because you used your smart mind and body to find this camera, maybe. You found it. And they lied on the, they lied on the Bible when they went to the judicial system and lied in, about gossip and slander. They lied. All they had was a lot of gossip. They didn't have no truth. And they was trying to block you from your divine masculine. And you're an empath, and you knew these was narcissists. You knew there's narcissists. And and you got lied to how you how you played, a, how, how you got lied to this situation. And you and your partner is going to be protected for all your all's good works because you set boundaries with these down people. And, and we don't take people for granted that's been there through us through all of our ups and downs. And we do not cry over people that was meant to make us grow. No, we don't. And Divine Masculine loves you and wants to take you skinny dipping. And you're all getting ready to do a lot of things that's going to help a lot of people. That's what that meant, okay? Let me put these back up. Let me put these on here so I don't mix them up, you guys. And, and look, now if... If you needed any more clarification, you're getting ready to get it. So it's telling you to think of a special moment that brought that brought you much joy with your partner. So think of a moment right now that you just that you just can't stop thinking about that that's how much joy that your partner brings. And you need to think about it and you need to be open. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship and you're somebody that is open for it and maybe you study the Bible a lot like I have and and this is about take time out to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. <clears throat> you need to be open and live in the moment until your feelings with your partner at the moment. And that's why maybe you're seeing 1111. It's telling you to be open with them. You know, 1111 is an important number for twin flames. It symbolizes the harmony and balance of soul counterparts. Ain't that something? That's two that you got today. You got two 1111s and a twin, twin ray. Oh, wow. And we got soul. Your soul is preparing to reconnect with this person. Trust in the process. Trust in it. Don't don't let go of that trust, Aquarius. Okay? Because y'all have this. Y'all have an attraction. Divine soul counterpart attraction transcends superficiality. It's not a superficial connection. Okay? And that's why these people will do voodoo on you and stuff. Because they wish they had it and they don't. That's why, that's why they get mad at you. But don't worry, because look what's going to happen. Let me read this to you next. Quad. Okay, so here's what it comes. This person better change. You know, like you did, you've changed, and and you and you're seeing with your little eyeglass how these people do. And this rich, good gentleman better change, and this karmic woman right here. So this whoever this man is, that's rich around, and and he's got a person uh, that's a karmic female with him. They better change. 
because the vine timing is is at work right now and this is about uh, uh, two your structure and separation this is about your standards and you getting enlightened uh, this is about your security so this this man this rich man and this karmic female is fucking with your security and they're out, they're on their way to jail they're on their way to prison not jail prison and nine plus two is eleven so at that eleven eleven's telling you their ass is going to prison for fucking with you Aquarius I'm telling you right now and they fucked with uh, whoever has the key to your heart. Uh, they was fucking with this person that cherishes you and your happiness. They was messing with your happiness and your family. They was messing with your joy of your family. And and you've come a long way in your life with your partner and your family, you know, in, in your spiritual journey with this good gentleman. You and him's come a long way. And maybe their life path number's number five like my man's is. And... And, and we know one thing that these this rich good gentleman this current female is stealing they're stealing from you from this good gentleman and they they better change and say they're sorry because their ass is getting ready to go to jail 11 19 they're gonna go to jail if they don't stop prison not jail let me refrain jail is easy they'll be going to prison they're on their way to prison. This karmic woman and rich man, whoever is fucking with you, Corey, their ass is on their way to prison. They better stop. All right, now look. And then we got right here. We got that you're a mediator and you got the gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in your personal and professional life. You got respect for both sides of an argument and these people didn't. Maybe this is somebody that you worked with since professional life came out, but this could be somebody that is uh was they just wanted to mess with your personal life at your work that's the way i'm reading this and you voiced your you're speaking your word you're voicing what these people did to you yeah and i do i voice on here all the time because i'm supposed to be a personal guide and i have a personal guide which is a guardian angel in my spirit family and they help me and that's who's helping me and i appreciate my spirit family out here and you all it's uh, connected to my channel i love you and i thank you and I do have a guardian angel son, and his name is Alan, and he loves his mama so much. And he loves you all for, for believing in me and my practice and just helping you all. And uh, I about want to cry because I just love everybody, and I want everybody to get along. And sometimes people, they'll say things just because they don't uh, agree they don't agree with how you do things and then they'll go around gossiping and slandering you and trying to ruin you and the community and that ain't right and it's not right because i'm somebody that does this i poured out my love and my help i helped these people like crazy and they didn't they didn't uh respect me and and i always respect people and that's why you gotta quit jobs like that people if they don't respect you and they you actually have to endure sexual harassment for years you don't don't be around it <laughs> you know you're you got the ability to see things with the fresh eyes because you're you know you're just an eternal child you're determined to remain young in mind body and spirit and you're disciplined with your time you know you're disciplined with your time you you put you put it in divine hands divine timing and divine timing is working for you right now don't worry don't worry it's all going to go well for you because the sin of masters is helping you okay and if you see threes a lot, double threes, the Sin of Masters are helping you. And devoted spirits with specific intentions, you know. They know you, your specific intention, what it is, and they're helping you, okay. They're helping you with these bullies. And and they, you know, they're, they're, these people, uh, they conceal deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse. They're scared to talk about it. And you're somebody like me. I'm not scared to talk about it. I can talk about it, but me and my partner both, we grew from that, you know, because... If you do drugs a lot, it'll make you fight and act crazy and do a bunch of stupid shit that you wish you had never did. And, and we can talk about that. We can tell y'all about things like that. And I do. I try to help tell y'all. And I don't want you to get mad or upset and delete me off. Just delete me uh, off from my channel because I'm trying to tell y'all. I, I have endured things like that and I can talk about it. So don't get mad about it. 1444. But uh, this, bull, this bully that was bullying you at your job or your, or your partner, Aquarius, uh, they're hiding their emotions. 
under the moon. See, that's what that means. Under the darkness of the moon, they do shit to you to bully you even more. They don't want you to, um, they don't want you to talk about none of this. But you're just an eternal spirit. You you listen to your higher self. You got a sacred intuition. See, you, you your third eye's open. You listen to it. You're a servant for spirit. You're a servant for spirit. You're devoted. Uh, you got you delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. You know that's what Aquarians do. We collaborate. We're servants. We're servants for spirit and others. You know, and maybe you're needing to adventure to the south. Maybe you, uh, maybe you live in the South or from the South, or, or maybe your birthday is on February the second since two come out. But you know, this is talking about just adventures. You you might be from the South, so maybe your birthday is twenty five. That's my birthday. Yeah, Aquarius one twenty five. Or maybe your birthday is. Or maybe you're 41, and this is funny because I'm 41, so 25 and 41 come out. See it right there? 41. So 25, 41. Or maybe your birthday is the 7th, February the 7th, or February the 2nd, okay? Or maybe you're 43, or you're 40, or you're 38. And if you are, you need to hit like and subscribe, you guys. I need to help. But when when you, uh, maybe you take trips to the south a lot, uh, with your partner and you believe in yourself okay that's what that's all it means is that you believe in yourself and you believe in your spirit team and you believe that the center masters are helping you and your guardian angels that's what it means and metatron is telling you metatron and sandalphon is telling you to expect miracles during these moon cycles so if you're somebody out here if you're an aquarius and you're wanting a little baby or maybe you have a granddaughter or grandson and you don't get to see them a lot. Maybe you need to pray faithfully during these planetary cycles so it will come to you. If you're wanting to have a baby, pray and pay attention to them moon cycles so you can have it, okay? But, you know, you're somebody that believes in miracles, you know, and, and that's good, and I am too. I, I'm that same person. Because I've had a lot of miracles happen in my life, and I can speak about it, and you can watch my videos. you got to go all the way back, you guys, and watch them all, and you'll see that I talk about some things that's happened to me that it's crazy, and nobody else would believe it, but me and my old man does because we witness it. And, and you're somebody that shines brightly. Yeah, you are because you're a star Aquarius, you know, and you stand out, and you just keep on being proud because... You, 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 you know, everybody, this is about individuality. Everybody is supposed to be different and shine and just be just be thankful of who you are, you know. And maybe you're somebody that lives in Hawaii or somewhere like that. And I would love to see that. Ain't that beautiful, that waterfall? I'd love to see something like that one day. And I, and I know I'm going to because I believe in miracles. And, and maybe you're an Aquarius that uses in a Ouija board. And I have did this in my life, but it was, it was, uh, a, a long time ago but it, it's this uh it's telling you that you need to practice caution you need to practice caution about about uh confront your opposite polarity hang on i'm gonna try to see what that means Through the eyes of the soul. Let me see what that means. And maybe your birthday is the 15th or the 10th. That came out too. So hang on. Okay, so I found the 10th. Let me find the 15th. Okay, so it says confront your opposite polarity. Enca encounter in Wistman's Wood. So that says whether within yourself or outside, there is always a part of ourselves to challenge and harmonize. Clear your issues with a partner or friend. So you need to clear your issues with this partner or friend that bullied you. You know, and I used to be a servant. I actually did work at a restaurant, and they kept bullying me. And it's saying that you need to uh, clear this up. Even, even if you didn't get an apology, clear it out of your energy to try to not bring it back, okay? Or maybe it's saying you needed to uh, talk to your partner today about something that something that uh, 
you need to get cleared up. Some say it means wood of the wise men. Others say it is a derivative of the Devonshire word wished, meaning pixel lead. In the painting of this wood, the enigmatic fairy woman wanders whole and complete. The falcon represents her psychic or higher self. Suddenly, a stag appears, a challenge. Will she have the skills needed to harmonize the situation? So, you know, you're somebody that can talk to people, and you got to show this to this person that did you wrong. That's what it's saying, okay? And then this visualized healing. Ain't that beautiful? Look, maybe you got Indian lineage. Ooh, like I do. My grandma's name is Woods. And it's funny that that said Wood, the Woods Wits, or whatever it just said. And it's saying, address health issues with positive visualization. Use your intuition to connect into your energy field and identify the causes of your distress. Research may be necessary to get a balanced view. This painting is about a sacred ceremony of the Shasta Native Americans who live near the base of Mount Shasta. When a Shasta couple marries, they retain some of the sage from their wedding ceremony and keep it in a little pouch. When they experience marital discord or ill health, they burn the sage as a powerful incense, giving up their problems to the Creator and knowing that they will be solved. Many illnesses are generated by disharmony. The fragrant smoke of the sage is a visionary tool that focuses healing intention encompasses negative energy and wafts it into the sky. In the background are the pinnacle peaks of the Castle Crags, located on the west of Mount Shasta. They say that this site of the last tribal conflict, the woman shaman wears flicker feathers on her head and senses that close by is White Spirit Bird Raven, who is sometimes the trickster. <coughs> so that this friend that's around may be a trickster and you're well aware of it, but it's saying if you're somebody like me, I do, I do have sage. And you need to cut these things off. Somebody I just now recently learned this other day, you need to cut these binding cords because you don't know who you bought this from and they could have put a spell on it. And I learned that the other day and I'm going to cut that before I use it. But it's telling you that for you and your partner, if they've been things that's went on in your in your married life, you need to use that sage like I do, and I believe in that. I do believe in it. But that sage will help you guys. I promise you, I think that it will, okay? <laughs> and hang on, and I'll get you another message. and then that's all I'm going to do, Aquarius. Spirit, can you help us with a message? i got to lick my finger a lot to get these off, you guys. Okay. Can we have a few of these for uh, Aquarius? Can we have some for Aquarius? Please, Spirit, and we love you, and we thank you, and we thank you. We thank you so much. And we appreciate you so much. And it's so true. It's so true. So mad I don't see it. So mad it's so true, you guys. Okay. 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 Guys, don't know where you 
huge Aquariuses out here or people watching for Aquarius. You can have a lot of Aquarius in your chart too. You can come here for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And if it's your North Node, I like doing North Node. My North Node is Leo and I do like doing them, okay? Looky here, look, look, first one. That's why you're here. You're a star seed. And I know you are because you're an Aquarius and someone is frightening. It says somebody is scared. That they're scared. It says these male friends of yours is is secretly uh secretly uh watching you. They're scared. These male friends of yours are scared because all the shit they've done to you is coming out and it and you stand up and fight for what you believe in and, and balance will be restored. That's why they're scared and maybe they are a porn star wannabe slut. <laughs> maybe these men wanna be a porn star slut ooh. And something about a karmic father is connected to you, star seed maybe. And every time it's a new moon or a full moon, these people keep sending the young ones in to think that you're in chaos. So remember this, yeah, we figured that out. Informant, not your friend. Look, these men, they're influence. They're not your friend. And you help all mankind because you're a star seed. And you focus on your own self and healing, okay? And this man is very damn disrespective. And it could be this karmic father that's connected to you, Aquarius. And the feds are watching them. <laughs> Ain't it funny how these readings come together? And, and you better listen up, uh... All you done to me will be done to you 100 times trust in your angels. Oh, we do. And follow the stars for your guidance. Yeah, because you're a star seed. That's why you follow the stars for your guidance. And, and it says, I know how to make my own self happy. Yeah. And your family told them to leave you alone. Your family told them to leave you alone, too. And some old woman that wears a wig around you is doing something. Some old woman that wears a wig, you told you told their family to leave you alone, and they didn't listen. And you're more powerful than any of these people has ever saw. The Spirit said, go now. Go now. It's saying, go now. It said, go now, star seeds. You know these people's secrets, and they're scared you're going to go tell the community all them. Oh, and that might be why your channel ain't getting around, because they got the feds watching you and latched onto your channel, and I'm telling it right now. And they're in lack and poverty mindset. It could be his karmic father or this porn star wannabe, whoever that is. It ain't me. I'm somebody who is forever young. And, yeah, we can talk about incest in the family. Yeah, and I told you, I, I, had, I had to endure that when I was young. And it was not with a father or a stepfather. It was not. It was with somebody that was young like me. It was with somebody that was young like me. And I'm going to leave it like that. And, 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 and somebody thinks you're weird because you're a star seed. And someone needs to clean the house so you don't get stuck in a place and let things go. It doesn't serve you anymore. Somebody needs to clean their house and leave. Because this man is disrespected as this now karmic father is. And you're connected to horses because you used to break them in and train them to be with your Indian tribes. Oh, I told you I had Indians in me. Oh, I knew it. And you can't make it hard for me to meet the right people I need to ascend on my path. So these people is trying to make it hard for you to meet the right people to ascend on your path. And you're somebody that's playful. So they're connected to your internet. Like I just said, I told you. And we got people watching our every move all because a friend runs their mouth about us. Oh, wow. Friends. They might be secretly gay, it said also. It said, look, these male friends of yours are secretly gay for pay. And you notice how the one walks funny. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I can watch that ice walk out of the room 24-7. It's nice. Your your divine masculine knows that you got a nice ass and, and you do things graciously and you're very playful and and you don't care if people says you're weird, you know, because you're just forever young and, and, and spirit's telling somebody you need to go right now and focus on your own self-healing. And because you follow the stars for your guidance, because you're an Aquarius, you know, and you're a star seed, and you do things for mankind, and you know how to make your own self happy, and you're more powerful than any of these people. And the feds is watching this karmic father, and this man is a very down, disrespective bully. This doesn't have to be your partner, this could be this karmic father friend of yours 
okay? And and they was making it hard for you to meet the right people, and, and y y your family already told them to leave you alone, and they better listen to you. And this old woman, uh, she has incest in the family, and and she's in a lacking party mindset because you got secrets on them, and she knows that she's an informant, and then she's not your friend. She knows that that old woman that wears a wig. And 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 uh and we all these people's watching us because of that fake friend, that fake friend woman and boy guy friends that you used to knew and you stood up and fought for what you believe in. And during the moon cycles they keep trying to bring these kids around to get you in that chaos frightening energy. But this is just a porn star wannabe slut, whoever it is a for us. I don't know who it is, but it ain't me. That's all I've got for you guys to get today, Aquarius, and I hope it helps you somewhat out here. Because uh, it's, you don't have to, all the messages didn't have to go with you, but take at least one or two of them and, and pay attention. Pay attention to how it come out, and I love you guys, and I hope I can help you some more here tomorrow when I'm back. And peace, and I love you, and I appreciate you very much. More than y'all ever know. Peace.